good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity John Demo Soap Opera Music. I know you guys are tired of these Jada Pinkett videos, but stop the show. This needs to stop now. I got bills to pay and I'm getting rich. Ah. Uh, Rewind, Demo. Let's go back to 2019. Jada Pinkett, her shady mama, um, and just, you know, she was talking about some things about Will Smith. <laughs> now, stop the show. <laughs> we know that those things are never going to be positive because when it's always about Jada Pinkett, it's never positive, but it's all good. Now, this was right before the second season of Red Table Talk on Facebook. And I want to talk about this show. Stop the show. Um, Will Smith made you jaded before he met you. You were on ghetto struggle movies with a damn flat top. Now you are a pretty okay actor, but what nobody checking for you. He made you boo. Fast forward. Now we're in 2022, but she was talking about she cried on the day that she got married. Um, don't believe me? Sad music. My mom wanted me to have a wedding. She wanted me to get married to Will. I didn't want to. She told me to get married and we better have a wedding. Uh-huh. 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 And she was three months pregnant and the two were married. And well, certain things never change, right? You know, like a, a lot of times guys will get with a woman and we know she don't like us like that. I had a situation like that before. And um, but we, you know, we kind of feel like over time we will learn to love each other. I think that really we we can see that permanent interest can keep people together, but permanent interest can't keep people respecting you. And that is why you know Jada Pinkett's been cheating. Jada Pinkett um does the things that she does. The 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 reality is. If a woman doesn't like you, doesn't matter what you do for her. the red pill is coming out more and more. And, and I think like as guys, we need to understand that. And, and, and for many of us, you know, some of you guys may think that you're very attractive. You think that you have a lot of money, you have a lot to offer. And like, why wouldn't some woman want you? And you could be right. It's good to have that confidence. The reality is, is that um, a lot of women won't like you. A lot of women are not interested in you, no matter what you have. And they can't fake it. Okay. There's some women who don't want nothing to do with you. And it's somebody else telling them like, girl, or sad music, girl, don't you see how nice looking he is? He's a good guy. And she's telling you, but yeah, but I don't really look at him like that. Girl, you crazy. Everybody would die to be with a guy like that. And then they get with that guy. And then what you find out is a lot of cheating, a lot of misery, a lot of her being unhappy for whatever reason. And a lot of times she would be more happier with somebody giving her less which is where she needs to be at. And guys don't need to take it personal, especially some of the guys like Will Smith got ladies throwing themselves at her and he might think it's a challenge. BS, it's not a challenge. It really isn't a challenge, guys. It's not. The, the reality is, for all in which we're talking about today as black men, is that if a woman doesn't want to be with you and you stick with her, she's going to show you that over time, no matter what she says. You know, you like, just look at the guys in sexless relationships, sexless marriages. Yeah, she's in a relationship with you and she's there. She's going through the most. She's telling you, I love you. I care about you. But she's showing you in so many different ways. I don't like you. I don't want to be with you. And, you know, a lot of times, guys, we as men feel like women are like, you know, because, you know, men, we, we think logical, right? The more I work out, um, the more muscles I'll get or the more healthier I get. And the more money I put into the bank, the more money I'll have. And then, and then here's what happens. Women are not like banks. Women are not like banks. They're not, this is not the same thing. These are different concepts. What you get in is not what you get out. Typically a woman likes you. And it's nice if you have those things, if you have money, if you have cash, those are nice things. But typically if they don't like that, it don't matter. 
and it can hurt your ego if you are a conventional good looking guy, if you're a conventional successful guy, because why doesn't she like you? Doesn't matter, she don't like you. It's all that matters. Don't doesn't matter why. Okay? She might she could have been okay with just having sex with you. Some women are okay with having sex with you and don't respect you. How many guys found that out? Like there are a lot of guys that are having sex with women and the woman gets wet for you and she she likes going through the sexual motions for you. That don't mean that she like you though. She don't respect you. She just likes fucking you. We can't separate the difference. We thinking, well, she give me the booty every night. She must respect me wrong. It don't mean that. It doesn't mean that. And guys, it's okay to lose. Let me just tell you this. It's okay to say, you know, scar somebody else. I talk about it all the time. Most of the girlfriends um, I had and that, you know, for whatever reason, um, we started having some disrespect or towards me or whatever. I let them go. They go on to the next guy who doesn't inform, and I just keep on winning. It's, I mean, it's no disrespect to me. She didn't like me anymore. It didn't matter why she didn't like me anymore. I'm not going to try to figure it out. Will Smith been trying to figure it out for 25 years, and it doesn't matter. You don't like me no more. I understand. Bye. Good luck. Shit happens. I'll learn from the experience. No problem. It's fine. Okay? It is it. It's simple as that, guys. It don't need to be any worse than that. Okay? That's all. Why do we make it so much more than what it is? She don't fuck with you no more. She doesn't like you. Fine, bye. Cool. Wish you the best. I don't have any position to strength with you anymore, or you don't respect me anymore. Best thing I can do is walk away, because the longer I stay, the more you're going to hate me. Guys, the longer that you stay, the longer you're going to get abused. Get yourself up together and walk away from this shit. Like, shout out to the guys like Coach Corey Wayne. Leave with your dignity. And, and if you got any real uh, hope of her ever coming back to you, it's going to be because you walked away. People need to know that I will walk away. Like anybody, if you keep treating them like shit and you keep coming back, why would they respect you? You, you, you cried on your wedding day. You didn't want to marry me on your wedding day. I find out. Bye. You ain't gonna ever cry no more. Never, ever gotta cry, okay? Go let the next dude deal with your dusty ass. I'm gonna be somewhere and be rich, rich. I'm gonna go be rich, ah. I'm not gonna be worried about none of this stuff. His life is too short. You get your ass away from me. Let him take care of you. I'm over here being rich, I ain't worried about you. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again, another episode of a celebrity giant, or you appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. <laughs>